Baby Jean here with a review on the D Arts Rockman action figure. Yes, friends. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. As you can see, it says D Arts Rockman right here. And of course, here's a picture of Rockman, Rush, and the Met. On the top, it's got, of course, once again, D Arts Rockman. And of course, we got the little uh, symbol here indicating about the 25th anniversary of Rockman. On the bottom, nothing. On the side, we got a nice coming at you shot of Mega Man here. On the other side, we have uh, a picture of Mega Man performing his three shot effect. And on the back of the box, it just shows you more awesomeness, uh, mainly more action poses of Mega Man. And of course, we have Rockman and Rush here, and we got Rockman and the Met. There's three in one little set here, mainly to go with the 25th anniversary of Rockman. And uh, let me say this also, uh, yeah, I am from the U.S., so I may have this habit of calling him Rockman or Mega Man. So, you know, just bear with it in this review. So let's go ahead and check out Rockman himself. Um, uh, as you can see, he is uh, uh, a nice little figure. Uh, um, he's really not a bad figure, but let me point out... There is something off a little bit with this figure. I can't really put my finger on it. Um, I notice in uh, he is kind of difficult to you know stand and you know. But uh, anyway, let's just take a look at him real quick. Uh, as you can see right here at the neckline here, he's got like a little darker blue here. The uh, blue on Mega Man is really really nice. It's a beautiful blue. Uh, I am a big time blue fanatic. You all should know that from hearing from hearing me say that in past reviews. Um, all around nice here, and then look at the bottom here. Now, if you've seen my Cultable Kia uh, Rockman model kit review, that model kit was missing a lot of paint abs. I mean, it was uh, missing paint from uh, like here at the bottom for the jets and stuff and I mean it was just a lot of missing stuff I mean you're talking about a model kit here so you know some model kits tend to have hit and miss spots uh, but anyway then there's his uh, his expression here and then the jewel so and then uh, there's the jewel inside of his uh, buster so uh, anyway articulation well I mean you know he can uh, do a 360 all around here. The arms on a little ball joint here. You know, you can do swivels and stuff. Um, you know, you can do the ab crunch here. Uh, on the legs here, you can do a swivel here. It is on a ball joint, and you can bend the knees here. And the toes, you can, but it's kind of tough to do it here. But uh, anyway, um, but like I said, it, it's not a bad figure. Just something is not. Something is off about this figure, and you know, um, um, I know Shuki said the same thing too about his, so he is not the only one. So, well, enough on Rockman, let's go ahead and go to Rockman's uh, faithful canine companion, Rush. Oh, yes, uh, I am a big time dog lover. Um, I own a dog, so uh, anyway, um, but he, but sadly, he does not come with any uh, expression. So this is the only expression you're getting with Rush. But uh, as you can see, his head is on a ball joint, so you can swivel it around here. The tail, you can make it wag like he's happy, kind of like a, kind of like how how you do with a dog. You know, dog wags their tails and stuff. Uh, you know, you can uh, move the feet, the legs, and uh, on a little ball joint here, and. Uh, but as you can see, Rush is in a red and partial pink and got yellow on him. So he's all around nice, you know. He's absolutely adorable. Um, and, I mean, if you're a dog lover, I know you guys will understand what I'm talking about. So he is, uh, he is cute and, uh, you know, uh, uh, what owner wouldn't want a dog like this to say he is a goof, huh? <laughs> So, uh, anyway, uh, and last but not least, this is the Met. Uh, you see him in just about every Mega Man game. Uh, the one thing he does not have is a little pixel axe. Uh, but uh, you can take off his helmet here. And, you know, that's what he looks like with his helmet off. And you can just have him like he's hiding, you know. And, you know, Rockman is coming at you, you know. So, uh... You know, all around nice, and so, uh, and then there's the back, so, 
clearly there's no articulation on this guy, so that's like I said Pretty earlier, much. I wish uh, the Met had his little pixel axe, and um, I wish they had Jet Rush, and you know, I, I wish they had all that. But anyway, uh, so anyway, um, Rockman does come with his own three shot effect. I am a fan of the three shot effects. Uh, he uh, his does come apart, kind of kind of like X's a little bit, but uh, this one's a little smaller than X's, so. All right, and uh, he does come with expressions. Uh, the one that I have on him right now is this serious expression. And uh, this is an expression I like to call the shouting expression. The next expression I have uh, that he comes with, excuse me, is the angry uh, expression. He also comes with a another buster for like the other arm. And uh, you can see the meter there. And then uh, I think the jewel inside here. Uh, next, he comes with this little piece here to hold the three shot effect. I'll get a little closer there. And uh, here's another piece for his other arm here. Now, uh, hands. Uh, he comes with two pairs of hands. Uh, he has a bald uh, fist on the figure right now. And here's the other one. And then the other pairs of hands he gets, it he has, excuse me. Uh, these are the uh, but the Buster holding hands, uh, kind of like the more relaxed posing hands, open hands I like to call them. Let me say this also, uh, and I should have said this when I was showing off the contents. Um, we do not get a charged shot uh, with this figure. Um, clearly, this is the Rock Man from uh, Rock Man One through Three. And, of course, the uh, Power Shot didn't uh, make its appearance until Mega Man 4. Pose. But anyway, so, um, I went ahead and I changed his face. Uh, as you can see, he has no face right now. And so this is what he looks like without his face. So we'll go ahead and put his face on here. And I changed it to the angry expression, you know. So, um, and uh, real quickly, let me show you this also. Um, if you can look at the little uh, joints here. I think that's the reason why I'm not a fan of this, uh, of how the way this figure looks. It's probably was giving me that impression that you know something is off about this figure. So I just want to bring that to you guys' attention. Let me get him posed and ready. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do a little nice little uh, pose with him with the uh, mat here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the helmet off of the mat here and pretend like he's hiding. And we're gonna have oh rush just a watching. Like he's going, yeah, Mega. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, let's get the three shot effect. And it just slides on in. I already changed the, uh, I already changed a little piece, uh, to have the piece to hold the, uh, three shot effect. So we're just going to slide it in here. And it fits perfect. So I'm going to do, uh, something like this. And, uh, we'll have a rush just watching. <laughs> Talk about being goofy, huh? <laughs> but um, overall, it is a nice figure. So uh, anyway. X is taller. And uh, I clearly do prefer the X series of D Arts mainly. Um, I, I don't know what it is about this. I'm still not sure. Still can't put my, my finger on it. So anyway, so that's uh, X and Mega together. So let's take uh, X out for a second, and so let's uh, check out the Mega Armor series model and the D Arts. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, the Mega Armor series has like a very faded blue, pretty much the blue on um, the D Arts Mega's chest. So let's put them back, and I got both uh, the Rush from D Arts. And the rush from the uh, Mega Armor series. Uh, as you can see, uh, I think uh, this one had a little more work done, and as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than in size. Of course, uh, uh, you do you did have to apply a lot of stickers to this one because it is a model kit. So uh, anyway, uh, so basically, I prefer the D Arts a little bit. 
So, this is anyway. a nice figure. Um, I am a big fan of Mega Man, as you all know. Um, I do like the classics, but I do strongly prefer the X series. And uh, so, yeah, I definitely do recommend this uh, this set here of the figures. Uh, you know, not only are you getting just Rockman, but you're getting Rush and the Met. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend them, definitely. Uh, the uh, Clearly, there's no flaws. Uh, uh, there's not really no missing paint abs like you would get from the Kota Wakia one. Um, and like I said, the figure is really nice. And what a nice addition to get uh, Rush and the Met. And uh, I'm anxious to see what D-Arts has in store for us with the classic series. And uh, But you never know. So uh, anyway, uh, remember to check my blog. It's Eugene421A1's blog.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future views, future vlogs, you name it. And uh, uh, remember to follow me on Twitter and to like my Facebook. And don't forget about my pictures on Facebook. I have plenty of pictures of these guys here. So... Please check them out because there are some poses I did not show on this review that you will see in the pictures on the blog and Facebook. So, uh, anyway, and uh, remember to uh, check out Mr. S at CS Toys for all, all your uh, Tulsa Society needs. And, uh, but my friends, this is the review on the D Arts Rockman action figure. I hope you enjoy. I'm Eugene. I'm signing out, and I hope y'all have a good day. And I will see you next time. Bye, friends.